This is a cell phone gimbal. And I use these on corporate shoots all the time. But wait a minute. Okay, yeah, here we go. But not the way you think. Stay tuned. Welcome to Flash Film Academy, and if this is your first time to our channel, this channel is designed for people like yourself that want to turn their passion into profit. Again, I like to call you guys contentpreneurs, and as a contentpreneur myself, I like to talk about gear that will help increase your video quality without hurting your bank account. And if you've seen my previous video, which I'll link up above, I work with the Smooth 4, which is one of my favorite camera phone gimbals. So Moza decided to send me out the Mini S to give it a test drive. Now let me talk about one thing. Let's talk about how I use cell phone gimbals for corporate video to make money. Now this is not my A cam, this is not my B cam, but I love to set these things up for motion time lapses. What used to take a gimbal, a motorized head, you know, one of your A cameras or B cameras sitting in the corner, snapping away, making all this noise in the way, now only takes this. I put this thing on a tripod, I set up the motion where I want it to take pictures of, and I let it run for an hour, and at the end of the day, I get a time lapse that the client knew nothing about that will fit right into the video that blows them away. Every single time I use a time lapse, they're like, when did you get that and how did you get it? Because you were interviewing people all day. Even if we use it as a change up between testimonials and just showing us breakdown equipment and setup equipment, it blows them away. And they often wonder, where did you get that footage from? Like, how did you create it? This is how I create it. Also, you can use it to grab any last minute B-roll shots. Cameras on cell phones are about that good, especially if you're in daylight or in a situation where you have a lot of light. You're getting 4K 60 here. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the Apple commercial with all of the nature shots they captured. Now, don't get me wrong, they used a lot of hardware and a lot of software. However, for some B-roll, this thing right here, Shouldn't be your A cam for B-roll, but if you miss something and you need to pop this up, it's great to just grab and film with. Also, if you've taken our course about creating a great portfolio, you know the importance of behind the scene footage. This is great for behind the scenes footage because you can just hand it to anybody to stand around, no matter how shaky they are, they can still capture great footage and they know how to work a cell phone. So that's why I always keep one of these on hand because somebody has an iPhone 6, 7, or X that you can pop in here and film with and just grab some B-roll, especially for you as a company, you want to show behind the scenes footage and not just the final product. You want to show how much lighting it took to get the shot you got. And this is perfect to film or use as a time lapse in your demo reel. And we'll talk about that, you know, in another video. But if you've seen the training, then you understand the importance of it. And this is the perfect tool to do it. Now, let's talk about what's great about this particular one. First, it's under $80. At the time of this video, in the future, it'll probably be cheaper, and for $80, you get a lot of features. Let's start with the feature that I like most and the reason I use this particular gimbal. It's the advanced motion time-lapse, which is very easy to navigate. You go in the menu, you select advanced motion time-lapse, you pick the points and you got up to about six points that you can pick. You also choose how often you want it to take a picture and the duration of the time lapse. So you set this thing on like 10 minutes and you put it in front of the building just to capture the clouds coming by. Clients will love it. It'll also make a great opener or closer in your corporate video. And it's just something that you may not even mention to the client, but when they get the footage and see it, they felt like you put so much work into creating that time lapse and all you did was go without your cell phone for 10 minutes. So that's what I like about this. For you vloggers and YouTubers, it has a tracking feature where you can highlight your face and walk and it'll move 
to track the person or track your face. I don't use that much because I don't vlog with it. It's just not my thing. However, for those who are looking for something to vlog with, you always have your camera with you. And the way this thing flips up, it is more portable than ever, especially compared to the Smooth 4 where you have to carry the box around or you're carrying the whole thing. Another great thing about this is there is no balancing. There's no balancing. You pop it on, it's self-leveling. With the Smooth 4, it takes a little bit of balancing, just one access. However, this is plug and play. It's ready to go. If you're vlogging, it can record off of your Bluetooth device. So if you don't have a mic and you have it out to here, you can talk and it'll record off your Bluetooth device. Like I said, I don't use it for those reasons. My reason for having one in your toolkit is strictly time-lapse, whether it be advanced motion time-lapse or simple point it and let it take pictures time-lapse. That is the reason a professional videographer or photographer or YouTuber should have one of these in your bag. And it's just something that adds so much value to your video that costs you 79 bucks. Just think about that. Think about what it used to cost to get those images. You had to have a slider with a motorized head. A good one is gonna run you 15, 1600 bucks. Plus you had to have a camera. You had to have the right lens. You had to have the cable to connect to it. You had to bring all of those images back to some software, load it in, make the movie. With this, you're setting it up, you're shooting, you're done with the movie when you're finished. You can go straight to Instagram, straight to Snapchat or wherever you wanna go. You have a high quality time-lapse. Now don't get me wrong, the long way still provides maximum quality. But sometimes you don't need maximum quality. Sometimes you don't need, you know, 6,042 megapixel pictures to create a 4K image. Sometimes this is more than enough. I've never had a client complain. In fact, most clients are so blown away at the fact that we have that. They don't complain about anything. They hire us for a lot of stuff. So that's why I would say you may want to put one of these in your toolbox. For the price, this thing is loaded with features, loaded with features. The Smooth 4 is almost double the price and this has just about everything the Smooth 4 has with the exception of the focusing. And it can hold phones as big as the iPhone Max. You get time-lapse mode, portrait mode for you Instagrammers, vertical shot, inception mode, it's foldable. I like these things and I live by them, as you can see in other videos. And it's just something that you need to know about as an up and coming content creator. And you're looking at how guys are cutting corners and how guys are doing things to create all this great content. It's not always with a red epic. Sometimes, it's with a cell phone gimbal. All right, guys, just something to keep in your tool bag, something I personally use. If you follow me, you've seen my time lapses on Instagram. You know how I am about time lapses. And this thing gets a lot of use. And by it being compactable and foldable, I just keep it in the car anyway. Battery lasts forever. And you got a lot of other tons of great features.